Oh man, this is very exciting. I can't believe the Rugby World Cup is coming to its final stages now. A uh, lot of pressure between the players, a lot of emotions as well. The emotions are running high, especially for the fans watching the games at home. Now, when it comes to the fans, I mean, we all tend to think that, you know, we know everything there is to know. We're commenting on the play, we're commenting on the referee's decisions. Well, now you ha you're able to actually voice your professional opinion or your, 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 your very unique opinion when it comes to an app that's called Rate the Ref. And it was uh, designed w uh, by former international referee Jonathan Kaplan, who joins us right here in studio this morning to talk to us what can we expect Jonathan nice to have you my man yeah, thanks, listen this is very exciting I mean like I said you know we always love commenting from the couch it's like ah oh, that wasn't a great decision not at all so I want to get into your app but first of all your website ratetheref.co.za what is that all about how can people kind of use this to their advantage yeah well right right the ref is, is uh, just a, a website where I comment on you know the various games from the weekend if there's any controversy or any decisions that were actually correct by the referees try and give them credit for it um, and try and show the public uh, the impact of, of good decisions and, and poor, uh, poor decisions. And where the website is uh, different from, uh, from others is that um, I'm probably the first ref, the only ref that's uh, been prepared to come out and uh, comment on games. And it's not so much for the purpose of um, criticizing colleagues, um, but the inevitable criticism is when, when, when a decision is wrong, then you have to highlight to the public that it's wrong. Because for a long time I've said, the public don't get access to accurate information. They get this sort of um, rose-tinted uh, picture yeah. that's provided by, um, you know, the TV networks. And, and I think sometimes the public knows the answer, but they just they want to see it in print. Yeah, I absolutely love the idea that you are able to jump in, or you jumping in there from your experience being able to provide that feedback as well and educate people across the board as well. But let's talk about your app, Rate the Ref. Now, we spoke about some of that, some, some best and worst apps a little bit earlier on. This by far is going to become one of the, the best apps, I'm sure, especially throughout this time. What can people expect from the app, man? Yeah, look, uh, the app is unique, like I said earlier, yeah. because um, yeah. I'm inputting, um, I'm giving feedback to the public. Uh, so they can, the public, it's a platform for the public to communicate with each other, to um, have banter, that they can, uh, you know, they can uh, um, sort of be armchair critics, they can, they can uh, have their say. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I will put forward a, a commentary on what I think is the right decision. And sometimes it's, there isn't a right decision, sometimes there is a grey decision, so there's yeah. an optimum decision because things are happening simultaneously or one is, is you know, slightly worse than the other. Um, or slightly better than the other. So, you know, that, that's really what it's about in a nutshell. Well, that's great. I mean, only a you know, short while left for the Rugby World Cup. Go get that app and then prove your worthiness as a couch ref as well. Let's talk about some of the games quickly. Um, you know, throughout the course of the Rugby World Cup, were there some, you know, TMO decisions that kind of made you tilt your head a little bit, wonder, um, some things that you didn't necessarily agree with? Yeah. What did you Look, see? I, I think um, World Rugby wasn't smart uh, in that they wanted to try and rule out some foul play issues at a World Cup and mm. I don't think that's clever because it had never been trialled before. The poor referee and uh, TMO, that's the TV ref, uh, yeah. um, you know, they, they were caught between a rock and a hard place and that first game, you know, it, it's, uh, every, everyone was very frustrated with the TMO that he took such a long time but the reality was they were instructed to help the referee with um, yeah. th three types of foul play, the, the leg chop, the neck roll um, and the choke tackle. So, so if they didn't do their job, that would have been criticised by the authorities. They mm. did, and, and so we had a lot of um, extra inputs. Yeah. I think it's actually got a hell of a lot better. Yeah. I, think the, I think the refs are doing a good job as I, well. Yeah. I think the refs are doing a good job, and I think the TMOs, by and large, yeah. are picking up a lot of things that they should, and they're doing it in real time. So yeah. I, think, I think they've had a chat about it. Like I said, I don't think initially it was a good idea to trial something in the, in, you know, the biggest competition in the world. Absolutely. But they've actually got on top of it quite well and, and they're, doing, yeah. they're doing a reasonably good job now. All right. And then just lastly, I mean, we're looking forward. We know that we're playing Wales now this coming Saturday yeah. as well. You can see that brings a smile to your face as well. What are you expecting? Yeah, um, look, out of the three opponents, that's probably the one that we would have chosen before the competition. Having said that, uh, we lost to them, uh, you know, the last yeah. game we played against them, we lost 12-6. Uh, I think they're very competent, um, they're a very well-coached team, um, but they have picked up a few injuries along the way, and I mm -hmm. think we've got a full bill, bill of health. So if we play to our best ability, and th that's mm -hmm. really what it's about, if we play to our best ability now that we've chosen mm -hmm. what I believe is close to the best team, um, I think we, we stand a very good chance against Wales. That's it. No, definitely. It's been nice to see how our boys kind of picked up steam throughout the course of this competition. As yeah, well. look, I, I mean, I, there's no slight on the older blokes because obviously experience and defence mm. are the two things that wins World Cups. And 
Um, and Tony Kamau knows that, so he's, he's gone for, you know, he's plumped for the experience. But, you know, just how things have worked out. Um, yeah. I, think, I think some of the young guns have really put their hand up and they've shown that we, we can actually do this in a, in a major competition. And I'm hoping they yeah. can kick on. I love it. Jonathan, yeah. thank you so much for joining us this morning. And also very exciting about your app, Rate the Ref, man. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be cool. very exciting. It's the former international referee joins us here this morning, Jonathan Kaplan, talking about his brand new app called Rate the Ref. Get it now and try your hand at refereeing from the couch. It's going to be awesome throughout this last stages of the World Cup. Right now, though, over to our musical guest this morning, Ampi, and I put up on the beef on a game for